All right, admins, um, I want to go over something that came out on the October 30th release uh, from the previous two week, what the Arbiter calls their sprint. Um, for those that came to the in-person meeting, I just want to say thanks. I think it was great. We had those two, one Bone Green and Lexington, and we really went over this in depth. And I really think that even though the monitor eligibility page isn't quite where we need it to be, I think we were able to explain it in a way that can get us by until uh, we further develop it. And Arbiter is very committed to further developing that your monitor eligibility page for your coaches to where you can uh, more readily see what they need to take and what they have taken. Uh, but if you need training on that, I really, really, really would suggest that you uh, schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me. And I think I can really explain it in a way that will make it clearer to you. But that being said, we thought it best to get a report um, very similar to the report that we had in our system um, where you could download the CSV uh, and I know some schools would have to send that to maybe their board councils they would have to send it to their district office and so forth just a dump of all your coaches and their uh, requirements and so forth and where they're at their dates um, so what we've done we've kind of mirrored that it's it's probably more com it's it's it is it's a more complex query but it is on your reports page it's about as simple or as complex as you want it if you want to pick one sport football and do a quick dump that's fine uh, and guess what I mean Excel dumps don't take up much space so you can just you know do as many as you need but let's click on eligibility requirements there pulls up a window and it probably needs to be expanded because uh, some of these are pretty long as you get down here when you get into the rules clinic and stuff but like with any windows you know or you know any modern uh, software you hover over things and you can see exactly what they are um, you know right away you want to pick staff for your uh, uh, coaches now you can do workers and officials as well because you know nationwide this is a nationwide project and different states do different things different you know obviously that doesn't make much sense but states do it differently uh, but this is you know it's it's pretty much adaptive for for a lot of different ways that people want to use it so let's just say we want to see our sports safety status for all of our fall coaches and this is just a pretty quick and dirty example so I'm gonna pick uh, over here cross country now this thing you, you can pick the one-offs like this but you can hit control a you know to select all you can hit you can click on archery and hold down shift and go down to wrestling and click on wrestling to select or you can hit control as you're clicking to select multiple sports which is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna pick my fall coaches I'm gonna do cross country I'm going to do football golf's right here I'm going to do soccer and then I'm going to do volleyball but if for instance if you just want to see your football staffs just pick football maybe we should use that as an example but let's just show all of them background checks again this is for uh, officials as well custom requirements in in Kentucky right now and and Ashley and I need to clean this list up as uh, over the course of the last oh, five six months we toyed around with doing the custom requirements differently but what we've pretty much set on are the two that we have in Kentucky which is CPR expiration and the, and the EAP rehearsal or training as we call it so we've pretty much uh, honed in on just having EAP fall spring and winter and then put the year behind it so next year will be 24 25 etc so I'm gonna pick since I'm picking fall sports let's pick those two and then we get down um, to the clinics the clinics are kind of long so you do have to hover over them and it goes back to where we started officiating uh, for officials taking the rules clinics in Arbiter back to 23 but as you know in the school system the school side of it we didn't start till 24 25 and I should have when I made these and I will clean these up but I should have used the actual school year and that is the best practice so we'll get those cleaned up but let's anyway let's just pick golf 24 golf let's pick 24 cross country we get into the team sports we got to be careful because we have different ones for coaches and officials as you can see there so I'm gonna pick football coaches volleyball oh, sorry I held down my control there too much coaches and then soccer coaches and then if you remember on sports safety we have the 20, there's two columns on that monitor eligibility. The 23, 24 means that's going to say, that's going to show you a green check if they've taken it in the past and they've not hit their expiration date. And we are going to start sending out the email reminders about that uh, for the ones that are going to be expiring in the upcoming month or months. We'll start sending out 
email reminders as well. So we would want to check Sports Safety 2324 and then the eight modules uh, for the 2425 course. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then what I like, and this is officiating information right here, so no need to select anything there. What I like about this too is like any NFHS learn courses that anybody at the school has taken, they should be listed there. And so, uh, you know, if I was doing my winter coaches, I could pick coaching diving and I could pick uh, for your diving coaches and understanding copyright compliance and fundamentals of coaching for your winter coaches, spring coaches, your track, I could pick coaching pole vault. Say if you just wanted to see how many of your um, competitive cheer and maybe if you even load sideline cheer in and you and you make them take the understanding copyright compliance uh, course you could pick sideline cheer competitive cheer vice or whatever you want to do you can hit the understanding copyright compliance and just get a quick dump of those that have that have or have not taken that course but since this is the fall and uh, we don't have any of those other sports we're just going to do the course that everybody has to take fundamentals let's export that to excel you can see i've been playing around with it quite a bit this morning it's my fifth one and it's going to open in Excel. And you, if you're an Excel guru, you can just do what you need here. You can, uh, you know, make it a lot smaller if you want to. You can change the font however you need to. I'm not sure what the default is, but it uh, looks a little funny to me. So, but what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this into a Google Sheet. And now, if, if you need to just send that, you can email that to whoever you need to. And I'm going to copy this. I've already created just a blank one. And I'm going to go here and just paste that in because we work in Google Sheets a lot. You see, I just called it Fall Coaches, whatever. Maybe you put the date on there if you need to send it to somebody. I do think right away it needs to have the sport column um, because if you're dumping multiple sports and it looks like I'm added to Scott High School, I'm going to delete, delete myself out of there. And let's see if uh, anybody else that shouldn't be on there. No, but it looks pretty good. I think I had myself add as a, as a Scott uh, High School coach. Um, so there's a couple different ways you could do this. You can see your CPR expirations. Obviously, if you see anything before today, you know, that's a problem, uh, especially with fall sports since they're in the postseason now. EAP rehearsal uh, looks pretty good there. Um, and this, and this again, this can flag you. Well, more than likely, I'm sure Mr. Fro, Coach Romeyer has, has done it, but he just, uh, you know, hasn't. Uh, it, it maybe just hasn't been put in yet. Um, golf coaches, you can see the ones that have taken the rules clinic when they've taken it. There's my cross country there. Um, football rules clinic there. Date and time. Volleyball rules clinic, soccer rules clinic. I know in our system it was combined into one, and it basically just saw it, said if it was done or not. Uh, it's a little bit more complex here. Uh, so this is the column of 2324, and this is the completion date. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you could you could add a column of expiration. If I mean, it's pretty simple. You just add two years to that. But at a glance, you can tell um, all of these would be expiring in 25, right? or 26, 25, 26, you had two years to any of these. Now, if you see some 22s in here, you got to start worrying. But um, we've got one here. See, that's 25, 25, 26, 25, 20. So all these are pretty good on sports safety in the, for the past uh, that, that haven't had the need to take it yet. So they won't get notification that they even need to take it. Like for this one, they're actually good through, oh gosh, summer of, you know, pretty much the summer of 25. So they would get the notice, uh, you know, next year. And then you can see the ones that have taken it this year and what dates they've actually taken it. You see this coach here, and you can freeze these panes if you wanted to. Brian Simmons. Uh, looks like he started taking the, um, sorry, I got too far ahead of myself. Even though he was good through September 25, he did just start taking the new module. You know, that's, that's probably just a mistake, but uh, he did start module one. And then you can see here you had a, probably a new coach or one that was expired because they didn't have the 2324 column. And then you can see their completion dates for all eight modules. So they're good through October 13th of 2026 and so on. Fundamentals of coaching, it's the actual dates that they've completed it. The times, of course, don't really mean anything. We don't, we don't, I don't think NFHS, NFHS Learn tracks it down to that level, or we don't pull it down to that level. So I show you the ones that are maybe missing, and, and we know it was the same thing in our system, but it wasn't arbiter as, as 
sometimes they don't use the same email, so that doesn't necessarily mean, or the, maybe this is an older coach that took it under the old ASAP human kinetics, you know, so forth. Um, and then you can also like hide these if, you know, I uh, just want to see the fundamentals of coaching, you know, we can hide these columns and so forth. Um, again, it's, it's, it, it's, it's not perfect again, but I think it will give us something that we can use, you know, and I know a lot of people are probably Excel gurus, but if you really wanted to, you know, go here and, you know, insert a column and put an expiration, you can. gives us our expiration dates so that's I mean that's just something you can do I mean if you really just have to have an expiration and need to send that to somebody or you say well, they can calculate it themselves so I might even need to copy the formula all of them but I think you can get the gist of it from here um, let me know what you think of it um, for sure and um, I know it's, it might take a little bit to get used to but I think as a stopgap this might be the way to go um, and you know you could always use conditional things if you want to use colors and so forth it just depends I think that most people will more than likely use it just to get a quick dump of their football coaches a quick dump of their maybe you know basketball coaches coming up etc um, but you know and then the, if you needed to download that to Excel to send somebody from here you can just download it and send that to Excel and ship it right back to them if you want to um, once you cleaned it up a little bit but and you could do the same thing here for module A. If you wanted to do the expiration, you could you know, do the same thing as I did uh, over on the uh, 2324. But otherwise, you can just say, all oh, they're good, the 8, 13, 25, 7, 9, 20, I'm sorry, 26, 26, uh, 10, 29, 26, etc. So just let me know. Uh, hope it helps you guys out. Thanks a lot.